Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Chan. I'd like to present a segment on Teatrophilus from a trainer's point of view. This is to be narrated by Mr. John White. Teatrophilus are associated with a high degree of dissatisfaction, and many are not suitable candidates. Please watch my other video discussing this more in detail. Technically speaking, precision is needed, and usually only small quantity is required. The filler needs to be soft, and have low G prime, and low viscosity. Before we begin, let's understand the anatomy. The layers are skin, fat, orbicularis oculi, soof, then bone. The danger here is the eyeball superiorly, the infraorbital neurovascular bundle inferiorly, and the angular artery medially. Though the angular artery is usually not found in the area where filler is placed, not being aware of this is a problem. Chasing the tear trough too medially, above the orbital rim will end in disaster. There are ligaments in the area but they are of less importance when it comes to injection. For more detailed anatomy, refer to Anatomy for Injectors module on Aesthetics and Skin Institute website. The filler should be placed in the supraperiosteal plane, which is where the SUF is. I use both, as always I preach that cannulas are for safety and needles are for precision. In general, I tend to use needles. Because of I need the precision, by that I mean, the filler must be placed precisely, and accurately in the spot I want. There is not much room for error. My hands have to be steady, and filler injected slowly, watching the area injected, and paying close attention to the volume delivered. I use cannulas under two conditions. 1. When I see superficial veins over the area. 2. If I have to inject a larger area. The challenge I see during training is, for the injector to know where the tip of the cannula is. With needle, this is performed perpendicularly, with the needle touching the bone. With a cannula it may not be easy keep the tip at the right plane. During training, I like to watch my trainees to first practice on plastic models, to get used to the awkward positions in relation to the position of the patient on each side, getting familiar with the feel of the flow of the filler, and yet being able to focus on everything else that's going on. Videos on injections are in Anatomy for Injectors module.